eight cameras monitoring the streets of downtown San Antonio around the clock. A crime fighting tool used by the San Antonio police since 2009. And now, for the first time, we go inside to show you how they do it. The cameras have proved to be very effective. We've made a number of arrests uh, over the years with them. 612 arrests to be exact. But the San Antonio Police Department has never before allowed a news crew to see how these so-called crime cameras operate. Watching people 24-7, criminals and the innocent alike, who have no idea they are on camera. Who knows, maybe you have been too. But what are they looking for? Well, things like this, a gang fight that minutes later leads to the discovery of high-caliber weapons in the back of a vehicle and later an arrest. At the corner of Commerce and Soledad, this guy thinks no one is watching. He's trying to pick the lock. Minutes later, he walks away, but it's too late. He's on the ground, handcuffed, and now going to jail. These cameras are so powerful that you can see the CPS logo on this paper. But the question is, when or how do the police determine how close they can get? At one point, do they decide this is a crime or perhaps a violation of privacy? There are no privacy issues here. Absolutely zero. You know, people have no reasonable expectation of privacy when they're in a public place. But not everyone agrees. Look at that. That's the police department looking at you right now. Right now. How does that make you feel? Oh, man, I don't like that. I don't Why like I don't like I can walk down the street being watched. I can't walk down the street. Well, if I'm to tell you they're trying to keep you safe, does that make it okay for you? If I need them, I can call them. And what about personal privacy? Does it matter if these cameras are here to fight crime? Well, it all depends on who you ask. The Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution is the primary portion of our Constitution that, that protects people's privacy. You have a right, and I have a right, not to come under government scrutiny unless there is probable cause. Now that has been turned on its head. Now all information is being collected. Now th this video surveillance is being collected all the time, 24-7. Ana Maria, uh, do you walk around downtown often? Do you ride public transportation? I do. I'm a volunteer. Have you heard about the police department using cameras downtown? No. To monitor crime? No. What if I tell you that there's a camera looking at you right now? Is it right? Where there's one it? right there. Oh, in the light. Well, I'll be done. Now, how does that make you feel? Good. Why? So it can help me out if somebody want to take my purse. So that is good news for Señora Maria, but the ACLU is concerned about potential abuse, profiling, civil rights, and privacy violations. Now, what does SAPD Chief William McManus have to say about it? And now he's back with more of the inside story because he has learned that there are more than just those eight cameras we first told you about. The cameras have proven to be a valuable weapon for getting criminals. But what about the rest of us? Walking the streets and minding our own business. Is it right that our every move can be monitored by cameras we don't even know where they are? I'm very certain there are more now than the initial eight cameras. Yes. And the question is how many more? Where are they? And who has access to that information? Right now there are eight downtown cameras, some in Travis Park, others along East Commerce Street. Are there more? Listen to what the chief has to say. There are more. And where are those cameras located, Chief? There are various locations in the city. Some are on the east side, uh, some are in other locations. SAPD will not reveal how many cameras they have around town or what areas they are watching. An SAPD email explains, due to undercover operations, we're unable to reveal their locations. Does the public have a right to know? Absolutely, the public has a right to know. News 4 WOAI troubleshooters have asked for that information in the past without success. And now we want to know, are there any rules on the use of these cameras? Is there a policy on how far police can go with them? You have to have some very specific guidelines and standards and, and with repercussions, with disciplinary regulations as to who has access? It's fairly simple. I mean, you're, you're, you're watching activity, and when you see a, a, an offense committed, then the officers who are on the street are alerted, 
and they go and you know uh, make the apprehension. But they're but it's it's we're looking for criminal activity. Yeah, and, and it truly is a simple process. I mean, you yes. know exactly what you're looking at. Yes. But that said, is there a written policy that the San Antonio Police Department has? I think I know what you're asking, yeah, but yeah. I have to check to make sure. You have that to check and see if there's an operational policy. A one, two, three, these are yes. the things that we need yes. to follow. Yes. Ten days later, here's what SAPD came back with. Policy is currently in the draft stage and is awaiting final approval. Reads this email. This can and will be released. The system, however, has been operational since 2009. That is three years of watching without formal guidelines. And now Chief McManus tells us more cameras are coming. Police have 187 potential locations.